Well, hi there. Welcome back to the Red Pepper Shenanigans. Yay! I've got some... No power. I have some really exciting projects to work on here in the Red Pepper. We are going to be taking this rig back out onto the road for a couple of um, adventures in the coming months. And I just wanted to kind of touch some things up, fix some things, repair and replace the toilet and do some yeah, just projects that have been long overdue. I'm going to be redoing curtains and new shower boards and um, touching up some paint and all that kind of stuff. So let's get into some madhouse work projects here in the Red Pepper before we get back on the road for an epic adventure. So I want to pause the video to share about Jackery's upcoming launch on June 14th that is going to be happening globally. They're welcoming a new unit, the 2000 Plus and also the Battery Plus that can go with it. Since the solar of the Red Pepper has kind of been out of commission during these renovations, it's been really handy to have a backup unit so that we can have power to help with all the different construction projects that we've got going on. It's a max output of six kilowatts and also holds up to 24 kilowatt hours. It's come in really handy to use power tools for all these running projects. I think we've used like the sander, the oscillating multi-tool, um, a circular saw, weed eater for outside, all kinds of different tools have been able to be powered off of this 1500 unit so the 2000 is just going to be that much more powerful. A great source for sustainable power whether you're at home or on the road which you'll see later in the video. They're made with lithium ion batteries and they can hold up to 70% of their charge after 4000 charging cycles. So the panels charge these things up in just like about two hours which is pretty speedy. The new 2000 comes with a smart app so you can have full control directly from the phone. Also if you're interested in joining the upcoming Jackery Explorer Club to explore further with the power of renewable energy you can check out the link to their club page. Jackery Day is coming so get ready for this year's big surprise. The link for that is also in the description. So if you're super excited about this new release they've got coming up, you can check out the description for an early bird code. Thank you Jackery for sponsoring today's video.
today commences curtains 2.0 <laughs> so many years ago i sewed up some scrap fabric curtains and we used that in the bus for the longest time they got stained they're kind of gnarly they never fully closed the edges of like being able to look through the windows from the outside of the bus you could kind of always see which always really bothered me so today i'm going to start the new curtain process I have like five yards of fabric and I'm gonna start cutting them to size and I'm gonna be sandwiching the insulation bubble wrap stuff that we got um, in the middle of the fabric so that you can like press it up against the window. It insulates in cold weather and warm weather and um, allows for complete privacy. Let's get to work. fabric that I got was kind of budget um, and I also wanted something neutral, earthy and simple. So I just got a basic muslin, nothing crazy fancy, literally just a woven material. It's really easy to rip and sew. Okay, curtains are going good. I chopped up the fabric and I've got a good old piece of scrap. Justin hates cream so I'm going to try and dye this and see what kind of comes out. Looking like, if I use onion skins, it should be like a really rich, kind of warm orange. Maybe kind of like a rendition of the wall, but on fabric. I'm gonna soak it in some water, throw in a splash of white vinegar just to let it sit. It helps the fibers of the material absorb the dye whenever I put it in the dye bath. Um, so I'm gonna do that now. So while the dye bath has been rolling, I've been sewing these curtains up. I'm kind of at the final step, but I've basically um, stitched it up all around, left a gap down here for the reflectix to go into, and then up top here where my finger is, is where the pole is gonna go through. I'm just gonna reuse the copper rods that we had this whole time. So I'm just stitching the top part, which is essentially the loop where the pole is gonna go through. I'm having to cut off about an inch. I'm a little annoyed about how these roll up. I'll explain in a second. So basically these have been cut to go horizontally in the window, but because the bubbles are going this way, it's like easier to roll it this way than it is to roll it this way with the way the bubbles are and you can still do it but it's definitely less than ideal and it doesn't have as clean of a finish but the thing is i remember when i was cutting this reflectix that um it actually wasn't possible because of the width of it this was the full width and so i got more windows with reflectix if i cut it this way anyhow i'm gonna hope that it is gonna look okay so i'm just popping it inside this hole and then making the corners neat. I like using a pin to kind of pull out the corners here where I stitch so it's a bit sharper of a corner instead of like a rounded edge. The last step, or I guess second to last, is just pinning it together so that this is going to be hand stitched. All right, so yesterday you saw me finish these curtains. They're actually not quite finished. I still have to do some hand stitching down here on the sides. I wanted to get them installed, make sure they were gonna fit properly. I put the ones in the bedroom in. Not too shabby. It's gonna be so nice to have complete blackout as well as privacy down the sides. 
and then also insulation. I had the leather straps that I had found from a thrift store a while back. Just scrap leather that I cut into strips, but it's actually, it's too short. So the hoop that it makes is not quite big enough to hold it when you roll it up. So I'll have to get some new straps set up. Other than that, I think we're good to go. Things are coming along nicely here in the red pepper. It just feels like it's all making sense. <laughs> Ditching the nature set. This, I'm like, why don't we make this where the toilet's gonna go since we're just gonna be doing a bucket system. That way this whole room just like opens right back up. That's exciting. I'm gonna repaint the floor and put a full mirror over here. Not really so you can watch yourself poop because that's maybe gonna be a bit weird, but so we can actually have a full length mirror. Get rid of that mirror and have more windows. You know, a part of my healing, I think, in this process Whoa. is that you can't hold on to everything. And in life, chapters end and you have to learn how to let go. Whoa. This is so exciting. I figured it's easier to do this part. It's gonna be like, what the fudge nugget? No more nature head, no limitation of design. Bam. Justin so hardcore, he broke our hammer. <sighs> Thank you, Azalea, for letting me borrow yours. Ugh. And also, I have no idea where the crowbar is. Remnants of roaches. I don't know how many of you know, we used to live with roaches. Wow, that's nasty. Okay. So Azalea and I are working on a fun dye project while Pop is fixing up the, the bus. The, the toilet. 
I Raindrops keep falling on my head. La 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 la. <laughs> oh, look at that piping. Yeah, I think Papa's going to use it under the bus. Red Pepper's looking slick. We're taking her out in a couple weeks. Oh, hey, Pop. Hey, How's the pooper coming along? What's coming along? Hey. <laughs> it's um Bobby. going down, right? It's not going up. Wait, you need this. All right, so the setup here is a pee diverter, a poop hole. This poop hole is going to go into the bucket, and then the pee is going to go down here into the gray tank. We've got way more floor space for walking now, and we can have a full length mirror. Thank you. The road to Shikori is always magical. Justin and Azalea were coming by after school, so it was my responsibility to get the red pepper ready and drive her down to the festival. Felt good to be on the road again. Once I arrived, set up again, which in the bus compared to our tent days was relatively simple. Empty out the gear from inside that needed to be outside, unlock the cabinets, and then create the outdoor lounge space. This weekend, for me, feels like such a beautiful opportunity to bond with my chosen family. I feel free to be my true self, surrounded by happiness, funky clothes, no judgment. There's something truly special about the way we interact with each other that I can't quite put into words. As I reflect on our past experiences, I realize that our bond has been strengthened by our shared creativity. From impromptu jam sessions to collaborative art projects, we constantly inspire each other to explore new avenues of self-expression and are constantly encouraging each other to grow, transform, and evolve into greater beings. I aspire to continue living like this forever, surrounded by my family. What's happening? <laughs> She's She's happening. She's peeing on me. She's peeing on my head. Always seeking new ways to express myself and grow together, cultivating our creative community. Life is beautiful. I love my life. I want to take a moment to have gratitude for the Red Pepper. She is just as much a part of our family as our crew is. When we renovated the bus back in 2017, we never had the foresight that Red Pepper would become the bus that's not just ours, but our family's. We've shared the space with so many of our friends on extravagant adventures that the Red Pepper has integrated into so many people's memories. Whilst this used to be our full-time home, she's now only an escape mobile. Not to downplay her value because she's offered so much opportunity and now her time has come to be shared with others. During the fest on the hilltop where we parked, she was a beacon for people to find our camp. A spot for your morning coffee and a place to charge your gear. Thank you again to Jackery for sponsoring us for so many years on this YouTube journey. Honestly, our sponsors really help keep the channel going and are a huge part of our lives, especially Jackery. Everyone knows us to be the Jackery people. 
the hub for powering up your phones, cameras, lanterns, speakers, and for charging Azalea's Beetle battery. We're even a place to charge the Jaggery with solar panels and hilltop sunshine. We've got the hookup for renewable energy. We had a couple of different units with us on this trip, which made it great to not deplete our bus batteries with everyone living with us at camp. The Lodger 1500 Pro was set up inside the bus for everyone to access, with all the wires you might need. The folding handle they have now, it makes it really easy to lay items on top for charging, offering yet another flat surface, which in the bus is in high demand. The little 200 unit that Justin takes on his beekeeping days came in super handy for our wagon setup so that we could have power on the go while we were away from camp for longer adventures by music stages. We zip tied it to the back and had it ready for anyone who needed a little juice up. Our first night of the festival was kicked off with a show by Xylem, a musician named Donovan who I've seen grow and flourish to become more than a home music maker, but a true musical artist performing on stage. It's really amazing when you have friends that you've known for years and years and you get to see their growth and transformation to become who they've always aspired and dreamt to be. I felt like a real festival photographer on the stage since I knew the band and so much of the audience. It was just one big party of friends. It's so amazing to see our collective family be so supportive and caring and loving and uplifting to each other. What is life without the love from others? I can only but express the joy we all shared dancing beneath the light of the full moon that guided us through the forested camp of Middle Earth up to the hilltop for yet another day. Beautiful moments and memories are created at this music festival. Azalea has been coming here every year of her life thus far and it's been heartwarming to watch her grow up within this community of kind and loving people. I'm grateful to share these memories with my family and to document the journey, to reminisce when we are old and grey. So here's to good music, good vibes and good people. Happy Shikori.